you're watching Cyber Nero Druid playing episode 2 of Scenario 9 of After the Storm New Hive. What is this place? According to Unarie, the valley was only slightly habitable at first. The elves had to seek refuge in the caverns during the day, while they worked to adapt the surface land to their needs at night. It appears that the Chaos Empire saw fit to turn the place into a Shakstal hive. Although Shakstal creatures are particularly weak against our fire, it's essential that we remain together as we proceed further underground. Okay, and our objective is to proceed further underground. We've only got three units, and if any of them die, we lose. 42 turns, so it could be a long one, but then again, it's a dungeon scenario. So often the slowness is just due to general dungeoniness, winding passages and that kind of thing. It's not a huge map. Maybe it's one of those scenarios where the map will get bigger as we progress. Okay, the worms are just kind of worming around. What do we see? Okay, we see a drone. Must not get Illinia poisoned. Getting Illinia poisoned would be very bad down here. But if they, if it wants to come out and attack uh, Anya, who's about to level, that's fine. There we go. Okay, strength one or shielding one? Fire resistance or melee damage? I'm gonna go with fire resistance. Might come in handy fighting bosses later on. Good bit of damage from Durvan. Doesn't look like there's anything down here. I do have more gates. Ah, there's a glyph. And maybe when we get to this base, something will happen. Let's wait and see, rather than rushing out there. When we get to this base, I think these one of these gates will open, probably. Or maybe when we get to this. No, no news. Oh, this is just a door opener, I think. Can I... Re Call or recruit anyone. What does the scenario objective say? Okay, I've got goals. Got recalls. Looks like I can do it. Um, well, I might get Mid Nolan, the loyal elvish prowler, to accompany me. Ooh, or an Ariel the Druid. Or even both. No idea what's going to happen in this scenario or why. The worms. Piercing sound and access is granted. Where is access granted? Over there! Okay. Fine. and put the paid to that worm, and now I think I'm going to have some undead. I'm going to get this wraith and I'll get my shadow. In general, fodder units are less required in these dungeon scenarios because you can hold the line with much less. But we'll see if that's true here, who knows. Am I going to move out, or am I going to recruit more units next turn? Let's move out. Nothing in sight. Ooh, there's a beautiful tree. Oh, nice. Let's 
going to be a theme here, and it's going to be Durban running to catch up with everyone else. Oh! Can't hit with that nice beefed up slow attack. Okay, um, the Shadow should be able to get in there and uh, do some damage. door up to the left. Doesn't look like it's going to be opened very straightforwardly. But one thing that uh, Linear can do is go onto this tree and heal up. I don't get any special message about how wonderful this tree is or anything. Nope, it's, it's just there. Alright. You go there. Don't want to rush out with anyone. Other than maybe a Linear. Just perch there for now. Okay, we got a worm. Don't need to worry about that too much. Should I bother killing it? Not really. Maybe with Anya. Oh, no. Not even. Okay, we can see more stuff. And we've got another keep that we can recruit from if we need to. Is this gate going to come crashing down in some way? I guess we're going to find out. Still not a very big map. Okay, there's some enemies. There's a shack style sentry drone. And I don't need to worry anymore about Elinia getting poisoned because not only this tree can rescue her, but also she can, in general, be healed by this druid. I guess that's why they provide you with a druid at the end of the last scenario. Who am I going to tank the damage with? I guess you? Not exactly exemplary accuracy there from Anya, but never mind. We can slow you. We've got multiple slowing units now. We've got, in fact, three whole units that can slow, which is fantastic. But honestly, slow and marksman, that really takes the biscuit. That's a fantastic combination. Okay, the Wraith can progress and maybe lure out one more. Yeah. Little, little here stopping me from going straight in for the kill. This one can't even range me. You come around behind, and everyone else can just proceed at their normal speed. Got to worry a little bit about respawns back here. Hmm. 
more fodder for my druid. Who gets a little bit hammered there. Nothing too serious. Stick a linear in front. You need more healing. You can you can tough it out for now. Well, it looks like there's another glyph here, which means that which gates are going to unlock? Hopefully this one, so I don't have to go all the way back. Maybe this one could be this one. So many gates all over the place, or even some of these side gates. Your lack of accuracy is disturbing. Can't quite reach the thing from there. Or is it going to open this gate right here? Guess we'll find out. What's going to be back here? Not, it can't be much unless it's a teleporter. Ah, the drones are respawning. Good. And by good, I mean. Uh, granted. Oh, that, that noise always gives me a shiver down my spine. Okay, over there. Fine. The worm's back. Yeah, nothing that we can see. The lad I didn't over recruit. I didn't. I've actually not needed anyone. I could have done all of this with just my heroes. Maybe one. Maybe just this druid. But oh, some ghostly undead are always handy. Okay. Guess who's back? This is why you have levels which uh, bend back round on themselves. There is a Shaxal Sentry Drone. And now we'll come out and attack a linear. That's good. The linear's not having much luck with being able to slow things. Uh, only one hit so far with these ensnare attacks. Okay, let's go in with... Not fantastic. Ah! Ugh, okay. Go, you go back here, and then you come out. Good. And now Elinia can sit in the middle and get some healing in. Use Tanya for this. Uh, Tanya. Flipping Anya. <laughs> Why can I not get this person's name right? Oh dear. Okay, drones are back. That's fine. I will have to go back there eventually. I think, to go through that gate. This part of the map is open once again, and I've got more opportunities to recruit should I choose to take them. But for now, I can keep exploring. Um, is there anything down here? No. Looks like there might be, but there isn't.
Most people are on full health. Now there we've got a sentry drone. So we want Anya to come and be the one who aggroes that. And yes, that will do us nicely. Zappage. Some message. And the Wraith gets the kill. Okay, both these folks are on about 50% experience. This looks good. I'll leave Anya where she is so that she can heal up a bit. And everyone else can press forward. Down here, I wonder. Oh, I know! Drones! Everyone's favourite. Let's park Tanya out front so that she can tank the damage once again. Alinea goes behind. And these folks get into positions where they can't be attacked. Feels very bread and butter fighting all these shacks style right now. Ooh, a village! That's exciting, I haven't seen one of those yet. Another reason not to get poisoned. Okay. I can only reach one of them, and they could poison me if I'm not careful. So again, it's either put any of that out in front, or oh, there is a full heal up there. I don't think these guys can kill any. Of. 1442. No, not even if they all hit with all of their attacks. If there's some if there's a faster one back there then maybe. Okay, definitely not anymore. Only two attacks. Ah, oh, for some reason she attacked with Forest Chill rather than Nocturne. Why would you do that? Probably because of the number of hit points this guy has. Yeah, that makes sense. Smart. Good kill there for the Shadow. Once again, I can go for it. In the knowledge that I can just heal up next turn. Okay, this gate is not passable. And my slow pokes are being slow. Twenty-four turns gone. Lazy move. I could have just waited three turns and she would have been there. Okay, there we've got a 
sentry drone. The sentry drone is going to get the surprise of its life, given that it can't see either Alinea or the Shadow. Though it did see Alinea go into this patch of mushroom, so if it's not a complete idiot, it ought to be able to figure out that she's there. <laughs> Ooh, we've got actual enemies coming now. Good hits there from uh, from our friend the sentry drone. Okay, if I put you there, then one of these ray blades will be able to get to you. I think that's fine. Another good big kill for the shadow, and you can sit there and wait. Uh, you keep going. Everyone else just keep on trogging on. And now we're going to get ray bladed next turn. Alright, more units making their way towards us. Elinia can't tank their damage forever, but let's see if you can't kill the first one, or at least... Yeah, beautiful. Uh, yeah, just one guy. On the shadow and hopefully get the kill. Okay, we've got Cassel in the Chaos Magus back here. And it looks like he's only summoned the weakest of weak units. Maybe we can even get him to come out of his base. Uh, but what I don't want him to do is attack my ghostly undead. Powerful. Okay, I'm gonna use the ghostly undead to kill this guy so that we can then use everyone else, apart from these slow pokes, to kill the Magus. Pretty good. Oh, okay, there's a there's a drone who can reach me. You're on 60% defense if you go there. So that's good. And hopefully with your slow you can tank attacks from both the drone and the Magus if you need to. Uh how resistant are you to arcane? Not very, is the answer, so we'll need to be careful. Linear, actually, yeah, you stay where you are, or not quite where you are, a little bit ahead. Okay, both of you can reach the same distance. And actually, if I put you there, only one of you can reach her. Uh, Poison, a dirty, dirty, awful weapon. Alright. Can reach the Chaos Magus. What happens if I attack him? Um, okay, I'll get owned if I try that. Oh, there's another one back there. Didn't even need the kill there, and now we have a Night Gaunt, of all things. Uh, 
to get people in position to block. I think over here, Anya's the best bet to block this shadow. No. There we go. All right. Let's see what they do. That was pretty unlucky. And the Magus didn't even come out to play. How <laughs> sad. Ow! Ow! There we go. Some slowage in the... Easy kill. Oh no. Access granted. Unfortunately, it opens the door nearby, not one of the random doors elsewhere. Still need to kill this guy. Can my wraith do it? Not really, not without help. Okay, that makes it much easier for my wraith to do the trick. So. Good, you're close to a level. You go and grab that village. And over here in the water, it looks nice and, uh, nice and open, doesn't it? And this is all going to connect back round. How lovely. Doesn't look like there's going to be any more to this map, because we've only got uh, 13 turns left, and it's hard to see how I could have done it any faster, to be honest. It's a bit of a sprint. Alright. Oh. Well, then, yeah, can I grow that drone? What can I see up here? Oh, there's nothing interesting there. see what's going on a bit more. This guy can scout because he's invisible. Okay, you, so you can attack Anya, which means that yeah, you might still get the chance to attack my Nightgaunt, which would be sad. But not the end of the world. And everyone's sticking together here. Alright, in we go. Ah, there's a door. 
door opening thing with Bob. Oh, hello. Try to poison me, don't you? I see your game. Nice kill for Anya. This wraith can go and open the door, and is almost a spectre. And I guess the next mission will be heading this way. So that is what Elinia and friends are going to do. Next turn. Okay, so this, this gate doesn't open, that gate over there does, and it looks like that's the end of the mission. Interestingly, this gate never opens. Maybe there's some secret passages that I missed. Uh, but, uh, alright. Progress. And since we're on turn 34 out of 42, I think that's it. Okay, that is the end of this scenario. Which means that I'm going to leave you there. That's the end of the video. Good night, folks.